Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to modify your file for Mass Effect 2. It's going to be pretty simple modifications, things like uh, loadouts, um, casual outfits that you can wear, you know, um, you can even put in cheats and stuff like that. But you'll need two things to make this work. And the first thing you need to download is the Notepad++. Uh, just go into your Google search bar there and just type in Notepad++ download. If you don't have the search bar, then I'm pretty sure you guys know how to work Google out. But just look for Notepad++ and download it and install it. Uh, and the second thing you need is the ME2 INI file, uh, INI fixer. Okay, you're going to need two of those. Uh, just not two of those you're gonna to need to download that and install it as well and I'll show you how those will work so uh, then after you install everything there you wanna to go to your Mass Effect file where you download it um, install the game I mean so it's usually go to Mass Effect 2 then you wanna to go to bio game config PC cooked and this is where you want to place your ME2 INI fixer. You're going to need that because you're going to modify this file right here. And once you modify it, you want to use that fixer so it'll re, you know, config everything so your game will load right. Now, and the next thing you want to do is you want to open this up with the Notepad++. Okay, so here we go. Now, for you to work this notepad plus with this notepad plus plus you want to uh, find out what you want to modify first okay so right now I have uh, let's just say you want to modify the outfits the casual outfit you want to look for the line 4079 and I passed it okay here I have the code for Miranda's white outfit, the 501. It will give you the white outfit. And for the black outfit, it's right here, the 502. I, I will put, on, put all these codes up on the description, so look for them. And the 1074 is Miranda's uh, open outfit you know that shows her bra and stuff like that but for you to be able to use that you'll have to turn the stream on and off you know but once you do that you you won't get sound on the normandy so I, I hardly don't even even use this outfit so and um you wanna look for the casual appearance and what I will usually do is I I put these outfit like last or next to last so I know exactly where it is on the list when you go to your ship to change your casual outfit like I have my white outfit next to last and the black outfit on the very last okay after you put those in you wanna go down to the full body appearance okay the you just wanna copy the full body appearance 501 or whichever one you wanna use for the uh, costume outfit in and just paste that anywhere it doesn't have to be last or next to last like the uh, the casual outfit up there but you just want to paste that in so it'll give you like the whole appearance as you can see I have the 501 and the 502 there now let's just say that you want to modify uh, let's say you want to modify loadouts for your class or your uh, companions you want to look for a line 4005 that's where your class starts out like right here the 4005 should be your player add up class I like to play my add up with a shotgun and heavy weapons it's the only two weapons that I have for my loadout uh, I also love playing infiltrator and the only weapons that I use on my infiltrator is the sniper rifle and the heavy weapons now you can do this with every single class that you want like let's say you like playing a soldier and you know there's like way too many weapons for you to change like 
why would a soldier, you know, use a heavy pistol? Doesn't make any sense to me. Why, why would he want to use a heavy pistol? So if you don't want to use that, just go ahead and delete that. It's going to be a comma, so you want to delete all the way up to the comma and delete that right there. Now my soldier is going to start out with assault rifle, shotgun, and heavy weapon. Now you can actually put a sniper rifle in there too if you want, but yeah, I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, Let's just say that you like bringing a certain party member with you and you don't like their loadouts. You can change their loadouts right there. Like Garrus, if you don't want him to come out with an assault rifle, you can change anything. Just from here, change your assault rifle to a shotgun to whatever you want. Uh, for Jack, I only like her using a shotgun. Miranda is auto pistol. Same thing with Morden. I, I usually just change out the loadouts on companions that I play with the most. Uh, right here, Tally, just shotgun only. So that's basically it for the loadouts. And here, right here, are the cheats to unlock all the weapons here. And I will post that in the description as well. So you'll unlock the grunt shotgun is basically a plot shotgun that you have to unlock and legions sniper rifle that will automatically become unlocked when you start the game now um, let's say that you want to put in cheats for your game and you want to look for I'm gonna have to scroll all the way down here excuse me for a second here I can't remember exactly where it is so I think I'm getting closer yep I'm getting closer and here we are right now for the number pad zero I have it to command equal give talent points 10 you can set that to any numbers you want if you just want you know one point every time you press that number pad zero or as many as you want and for the number pad one, I have them to give me uh, an infinite amount of resources and credits. And right here, number pad two will give me maxed out Paragon. Number pad three will set my Paragon to zero. Number pad four will set my Renegade to max. Number pad five will set my Renegade to zero. Now, you don't have to get maxed out. You you can set it, like, let's just say you want a little bit at a time. Then just set the number here as much as you want. And for my F4 key command will give me infinite ammo and replenish my meta gel. Okay. And there's another thing that you can do to modify Miranda's outfit to start out with uh, the casual outfit to wear Miranda's casual outfit I should say uh, you you have to go to uh, search find and you want to look for engines dot packages to always clock okay you want to type that in there tell it to find next and it's gonna find that line for you and that line is two thousand seven hundred and eight now and then you want to scroll down here to the line 2718 this is the line that you need to change it won't look like this when you when you find yours so basically you want to copy from here from the bio space HMF underscore MIR underscore light underscore R you want to copy that and paste that in there and she will get Miranda's outfit onto the ship and you'll get sound and everything the sound won't cut out at all okay once you have everything there finished you wanna close it and save it okay after you close it and save it you wanna find the Mass Effect 2 INI fixer which should be wherever you 
install the game like I have it in my D drive you want to go to Mass Effect 2 bio game config PC cooked and you'll find where you put the Mass Effect INI fixer once you have everything config and ready to go you want to click that and it'll tell you to press any key once you press any key it's gonna reconfig your INI file for it to work and your game will load right and that's how you modified your Mass Effect 2 now um, if you guys like this video I can look for some more codes and stuff like that for outfits and everything but I hope this video helps you guys so